Okay, good morning, everybody. So it's um, the 15th of April, and it's Thursday, and it's morning, and it's a very unusual time for me to go live. This is a new thing that I'm going to give a try to. So um, what caused this idea is uh, the fact that... Um, we all are so tired and I am so tired. Like we all are exhausted, right? We need to be strong. We need to be strong for ourselves. We need to be strong for families. We need to be strong for our work. Um, if you are in the same boat as I am, uh, everybody's home all the time. So like there is no break. Uh, you're taking care of, uh, of everybody and everything like all the time. It is super hard to take uh, time for yourself. And um, when you do take time for yourself, okay, when I take time for myself, um, I feel guilty for like, oh my gosh, what am I, I need to do something, okay, I need to do something productive, I need to do something that I will see what's happening, that something is happening, okay. And so journaling, uh, mindfulness exercises, gratitude journal, um, and doodling. It's something that had been saving my sanity for the last four or five years. And I am not the best when it comes to journaling with words. Um, I also can't tell you that I journal every single day, but I do journal. I keep my art journal and I keep my like doodles and all of that stuff. So anyway, I thought that if if we could guys get together in the morning um, and you do not have to watch this live, the replay is available, it will be replayed. But if we could get together and just kind of doodle a little bit and it's the morning, <laughs> I don't even have my makeup on. Um, and maybe we could like spend 15 minutes to... Um, to do something mindful for ourselves, maybe this would help, I don't know. I know that for me, it helps a lot to know that um, there's other people doing this with me, even if um, like I promised somebody that I would do this <laughs> and if it goes on my schedule and I know that, okay, every morning, you know, around nine o'clock, I'm gonna hop on and I'm gonna, you know, do something like this. It really helps me with my consistency. So if you guys wanna join, please uh, hop right on. Now I wanna talk a little bit like, who knows what gratitude is, right? I'm gonna take a minute and talk about doodling because sometimes uh, people get real overwhelmed with doodling and they think that doodles is uh, this like something unbelievably complicated and complex. So I just pulled up my uh, Pinterest board just to show you real quick. Um, this, like this board, I call it doodles, okay? So pretty much all of this that you're seeing on your screen can be called doodles. But the fact, like what I like to think, the way I like to think about it is like sometimes I would create something like this yeah, and um, I'd call it a doodle, but then, no, it's really not a doodle. This is a complete composition, okay? So this takes a lot longer time, and it takes some skill. And when people see things like this, or people would see something like, uh, let's say, this one, it is gorgeous, but it does take a little bit of skill, right? And it takes time. And um, most people would like the ones that are not very artistic or they had lost their touch with their pencil, which is normal. Um, like, they're like, oh, I don't even wanna start because I'm gonna fail. So y'all, this is, this is not a doodle, okay? What I just showed you, there was not a doodle. This, this is maybe a sketchbook, uh, something rather, but yeah, this is a complete composition, a finished composition over here. Now, if we look at like these little things, they can be doodles because you can just grab one element and repeat it many, many times um, and use it as um, 
as a something, right? Or like here, little um, grassy thingies, okay? Or, hold on. Yeah, like lots of things. But like um, what I'm saying is, yeah, like sometimes people would create something like this and call it a doodle. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not a doodle, okay? This is a composition, it's done. So um, I just wanted to assure you that, yeah, like one of these would be a doodle, yeah? That it doesn't have to be complicated. And I, you can do your own as we progress or you can do what I'm doing. I'm gonna start with just the very simple ones and um, we'll see how it goes, but yeah, it does not have to be complicated. Now, I tend to really like watercolor, like, you know, things like that. This is a doodle base, right, with watercolor, and I might show you how to do that at some point, but we're not going to be doing that. So, uh, if you would like to join me for gratitude doodling, um, all you need is uh, uh, paper and a pen. That's all. You know, I, I even just grabbed a regular pen so that it's not confusing for anybody. Let me take this off. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait. <coughs> Excuse me again. My goodness. Okay, let me reset this so that you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so 9.15 uh, is probably going to be my kind of go-to. I'm going to try and do it at 9.15. Again, um, what am I saying? Yeah, replays are available. Uh, you can do it any time, okay? So I got this journal from, um, from my friend Zoe, who watches me quite frequently here on Facebook. She sent this one for me. She said she got it from Hobby Lobby. Um, so this is a bullet journal, and why I like bullet journals is because the papers are usually a little bit more thick, and so if you end up using um, ink pens or liners, they won't bleed. I would not use, I'm looking for my ink pen to show you what I'm talking about. I wouldn't use a Sharpie though. Don't use a Sharpie, Sharpies bleed. What I'm talking about is like this kind of stuff. They are awesome. They work great on this kind of paper. But I really want you to feel comfortable with, with what you've got. You can use any any kind of a paper or notebook. Of course, I have a few. You know me. I love my paper, right? So I was going to show you this one. I just picked it up from Creative Reuse in Austin. And um, yeah, I've been practicing like lots of things in this one, just a small one. Okay, and I wanted to give you um, an idea what you can do also if you don't want to have a book. I picked up, uh, they're just paint chips from the store. And uh, like I, I have a go for purples, right? And so what you can do is you can use that and maybe a white gel pen or maybe try even a black one. I don't know. I haven't really tried the regular pen on this. But, um, you know, something like that maybe could be done if if you have desire for that. So um, options are limitless. Like, literally, um, options are limitless as for what you would like to do. Okay. So... Um, I was thinking we will start with something simple. We're not going to you know, do anything huge. And also what I like about doodles, um, it doesn't always work with the composition though. But for the doodles, if you like choose your couple of elements or one element to go on this one page, you can stop at any time and then you continue at any time and you really don't have to finish if you don't feel like finishing, like you're like, blah. You know, I'm, I'm over with this. This is done. This is not fun. I don't like it. Just turn the page over. Move on. It's fine. You know, it's your it's your journal. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. Okay. So how this is going to go. Uh, you just need a clean 
sheet of paper. Okay, um, tell me who you are. Tell me who's watching me. I would like to say good morning to you. Um, so any sheet of paper, uh, you can decide if you want to go the whole sheet. This is like a five by seven size, so it's not it's not awful big. Or you can just split it in half and like kind of draw a line in the middle or split it in like a triangles or maybe just even like draw some random shape um, and use that. And then uh, for gratitude, I'm going to think about, okay, what am I? What is my gratitude point for today? I know they say like find three or like five, write down five, you know, things that you're grateful for. I'm thinking one is good. <laughs> one is good. <laughs> for the oppressed of time and all of that stuff, one is good. So I'm super grateful for my husband who has been super supportive and super helpful. And so this is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to use my regular handwriting. I'm not going to do lettering or anything because, because time, right? We just have 15 minutes. I told you we're not going to, um, this is not going to take a full day. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm grateful for my husband. And I probably, I want to fit it like somewhere. I, I have been big on circles. Um... So, I'm just going to write it down. And if my pen is not working, I might... Oh, yeah. Okay. So, this is what happens. You know, I'm just going to switch to this. It's, it's just an old pen. Sometimes they kind of... You know, they fail you. And I'm not, I haven't been using like regular pens in forever. I usually write with these, with the liners. But my liners are also getting old, so I'm super grateful um, for my, and you can just do a line, you can do whatever you want for my yeah. husband. Okay. And I'm thinking this is not what it usually looks like with you with a pen. So I'm just gonna grab this is a paper made flare. It's just a marker, okay? I know they don't bleed through through these papers. So I'm just gonna trace it again just to... Uh, make it stand out a little bit. So sometimes you have to go through a few pens to see what works. But once you've found your tool, keep it with your journal and it will be so much easier to, uh, to do that. I have this kind of awkward angle here because I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, okay? And um, so I'm going to frame this with just a squiggly line. If you did a circle, you can send your uh, squiggly line in a circle. Uh, this is kind of an oval, so I'm just going to go and go like that. Just repeating the squiggly line. See how it goes? Maybe one more time. Doesn't need to be anything super, yeah? Okay. And then I want to fill my, my whole page with a little vine and maybe a little bit of flowers. So here it doesn't really matter how we start this. Let's just do the leaves. Let's make it simple. I promise to make it simple. So we're going to make it simple, something that you guys can do on your own. Okay. So I'm just going to, it doesn't matter where you're going to start here, there, here, there, anywhere. Just start, start somewhere. Okay. So this is the middle of a leaf. And then I'm going to do like a curvy line. And then I'm going to bring it back. There, we have a leaf. Okay. And then somewhere in the leaf, I'm going to take another line. 
and we're kind of pretending that this leaf starts somewhere below okay so we're gonna go like this see it kind of hides behind it and another and this one can go start right here there is a perfect point see they kind of all getting together uh maybe one here and like over here they would overlap so i'll skip this line go over and come back here um add a leaf here so see all i'm doing is just adding these humongous leaves and i'm making them big on purpose because if we start going with like tiny tiny leaves it's going to take us forever and that's not the point of this exercise okay we want to i want to be time efficient like i have things to do and places to run um I do have the, we, we, we're doing the um, da, 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 Thrifty Art Thursday at 2 o'clock Central today. And I'm going to be decorating my my freezer bag from HEB. It's just, it's a red cooler bag, cooler bag. It's this bright red cooler bag that I want to add some florals to. So hop on and see what you can do with your cooler bag if you have one like that. Okay, so then I kind of need to decide where I want to fit this in. Maybe in here. Go up. Don't be afraid to kind of, you know, make things look weird. See how we make them overlap? That's not too hard, right? Sorry, I'm sniffling. Woke up like at 3 in the morning with my nose running. It's like, oh my gosh, not again. I had probably, what, like, four days of no allergies and and we're back and they're back so i apologize for my sniffles um here you go and again here so i'm just putting these main ones in and i'll probably yeah, I'm not even going to add anything in here because this area is going to get filled up. Uh, let me see. Maybe let's do one coming out of here. Sometimes it's easier to start with the top of the leaf and then bring it down and around. See how it's hiding? And oh my gosh, I turn I turn my journal and my work usually. Like I just turn it around. I don't even I don't even mess with that. Just to make all my angles where I want them. I don't even I don't bother about worrying about these things, you know? Okay, let's so over here's kind of an awkward space, so I'm just gonna go between one third and two thirds somewhere and i'm gonna start this uh, uh, center of the flower of the uh, leaf and i'm just gonna bring this up so see how um this was pretty easy right and then if you have you just grab your pen and like in between the leaves, we can color this in. Like wherever there is a spot, color in that area and it'll make it pop. And then I'll show you what to do in spots where the leaves meet. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and as we're doing this, Y'all, we keep looking at that, at the, our gratitude, right? And it keeps reminding us, this is what we're grateful for. So this uh, thing, and, oh, and then, like when you have a few pages, 
Y'all, it is so satisfying to go back and look at my pages and see how it has progressed and changed and, uh, excuse me, how sometimes I would choose certain elements and how sometimes, you know, things just change and how sometimes I would not even finish something. It's just so much fun. And this is your personal journal, so you do not have to share it to anybody. This is not a work of art. This is a work of heart. So, um, um, yeah, so d keep it in your purse, you know, if like, or keep it in your glove compartment, in your car, if, if that works. Because, like, if you have to be at work at 7 in the morning, I totally get it. But, you know, you can bring it with. And I sure hope that you get breaks. If, you, <laughs> if you're if you at work at 7 in the morning, I sure hope you get breaks at work. And I even if you would sit down for, like, 10 minutes and do something and keep it in mind that you're doing this for you, for your own... Um, mental health for your relaxation this is huge this is huge okay so see how this popped up and so now i'm looking for spaces where my leaves meet and i'm gonna add a little bit of darkness in there see like i'm just making these lines thicker where there's two leaves and then in between the leaves i'm just gonna add a little bit more in between and kind of work this a little bit through like over here the two leaves they meet so let's make it a little bit thicker and give it a little bit more of an oomph you see the difference between like this area here and this here right this is less flat this is i mean this is more pops it pops more this is less flat so this is pretty simple isn't it all right so this is something that we can do if you have time to get back to it today if you want to do something else uh here's my suggestions if you want to like if you need more time to sit down and relax so one you kind of can add those little bit squiggly. They don't need to be anything perfect. Um, veins to your leaves. Like that. Okay. And if you still have more time and you still want to do something else, what you can do in this, excuse me, in some of the areas where the leaves meet, you can add, just make them different size bubbles like that. Just, just some bubbles. But again, only if you have time. Don't feel like you have to do this. Yeah, just some spots. Add some bubbles. Um, Maybe grab your pen again and go with your gratitude and um, maybe like add some thickness to your letters as they go by, you know, like, oh, I want this bigger, I want it pop. Yeah, so just kind of add some to it remind yourself of your gratitude remind yourself that you can sit here and um you can do something for you that you do not have to share with anybody oh my gosh if you're a parent you know how hard it is um like we would sometimes go do something just for ourselves like i know it might sound bad but you know, sometimes you just want an order of fries. Sometimes it's like, uh, and Brian and I, like, we would feel bad for not getting the same fries for our kids, you know? 
like how dare you <laughs> doing something for yourself and not sharing right but y'all you don't have to share everything seriously you can keep some things to yourself it's okay okay so i'm just gonna stop here i'm a little bit over time but that's all good um i will see you next morning i will see you tomorrow i'm gonna and i know i just said 9 15. i'm gonna try and shoot for nine um uh, and uh, yeah i intend to have this going every single day oh one more thing don't forget choose a spot and put the date on i like my dates on the bottom um you can do it wherever it works for you but again this is something that helps you keep track of your habit and an understanding of what's happening uh definitely if you can definitely invest into like a small bullet journal seriously go to hobby lobby they have tons of them and they're super cheap they're like I'm not gonna say it, but I think years, a couple of years ago, I got myself some that were like four dollars. And uh, bullet journals on like Amazon, oh my gosh, they're like twelve dollars, what not? Okay, so this is why I want bullet journal because it really doesn't bleed. Well, a little bit, right? With this marker, it did, but normally it doesn't. And also. You know, you don't have to write on every page. You can write on every other page and then use this side for like note taking or like a journal with words, you know, whatever you like. Okay, I think that's it for now. Let me know. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know how I can help you. Uh, let's do this together. I would so appreciate your support. I really need the support right now. I'm not in a good space. So here we go. <laughs> and now I unload all the stuff on you. All right. Okay. Have a great day. You guys love you.